Yeah, this is uh, my assessment on a Tufelberger Tree Motion Essential Climbing Belt. When I first started recreational tree climbing, got like a mountaineering, rock climbing belt made by Petzl. It's called a Petzl Lajama. And uh, is affordable. I wanted to get a good brand name belt that has good quality, etc., in it. And uh, I had a f I, I used it for about a year and a bit. But this uh, belt is not for um, industry. It has nowhere on the tags there where it says that the JAMA. Uh, there's some other endorsements maybe for sport climbing or clubs or CE approval or whatever so yeah it was uh, it was fun uh, I would say anybody that's gonna go and get a belt like this here is to go and try it on don't I would I wouldn't order it because uh, on my leg loops I was right at the end I still had enough you know, clearance, which they say stick your hand between your leg, but um, that that was my only gripe about that. Other than that, the waist there was no problem uh, for my size. So that was uh, the JAMA. I still throw it on here and there. It's fun belt. It's light. You don't have to. You got. You don't have to worry about like extra extra weight. And it's funny, the people that are into this rock climbing that. And when they were doing a review on the JAMA, they were saying how heavy it is, you know, like they're really concerned about ounces and that, right? But for me, I had no problem. So, the Tree Motion Essential. Uh, there's a, like, there's a Pro and then there's Essential. The Pro comes with uh, buckles that you can undo for the waist and for the leg. And since the JAMA didn't have that, that wasn't really an issue for me. The Pro, I believe, comes with a little extra heavy padding, which you can swap it out for that if you want to go that down the road. Uh, this belt, I'm so happy with the quality, the workmanship, the stitching, um, et cetera, et cetera. It's, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't complain. The only thing is it's gonna take a little while to get used to doing up the, doing up these belts that they, these uh, adjusters. But uh, you, you, you'll get used to it after a while. I did. So um, uh, other things about like, you can go for like a, like a, it comes with a single bridge here. You can go like for a double one. They got a extra hole there for that. Um, what else is there? Things that I like. Yeah, it comes with a, a ring in there, a rigging ring or like a rigging ring, I guess tie in. I just added this here myself. This is a Petzl. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, uh, it's got the name on here. At least I thought it was on there. Yeah, it's called a ring open. So you can, you don't have to undo your bridge. You can just undo this screw here and then you, you feed it in over your rope. So I also use the Petzl, uh, I think it's called a paw. Or it's a, rig a rigging plate anyways. I use this for a uh, for a MRS setup and uh, I also put like captive pins for the carabiners so it doesn't rotate around so that, that was for my MRS and I guess I could even use it for SRT but I use this ring here for the SRT uh, going around to the back here oh, besides uh, before I go there Tufel Burger gives you a carrying bag and uh, detailed manual which I like so in the back here I end up putting a Petzl um, tool tool holder here it snapped right in there so I got that on that side here and then they also give you well I didn't get it but they sent me a kit for um, making other tool holders and you can like put them you can customize it anywhere on the belt you want and uh, they tell you roughly how much it'll hold. This one here, I think they'll use if you're using it like for a chainsaw, you'd use this one here. 
some guys have swapped that out for something like this here they'll say in the manual just cut this out put it in there put it in with that loop is um, yeah so I'm really happy with this belt like I mean you know from the JAMA they just had you know the belaying loops right here like I made up this thing here so I can tie into whatever I was climbing on um, uh, th th this one here I'm so happy with because you got like these they call them forward D's side D's and then you know a bridge uh, I, I just can't get over that so this is like really a hot setup for me uh, yeah this this belt like I already mentioned about the JAMA it's not for professional use but uh, Tufo Burger one it comes with a tag on it and uh, I believe it says uh, There it is on the back here. It's got uh, it's got the like for Canada, for the C and US, it's the Underwriter Lab, and then it's got all the other ANSI people that approve it. Yeah, really nice belt. Apparently, you can right like I said before, you can replace those pads if you want to go to thicker pads. Apparently a lot of a lot of stuff here you can uh, get like a lot of the parts on here you can uh, for like the leg loops and stuff like that where you you can uh, get those replaced but um, but I, I don't know how wild I'm gonna go how wild I'm gonna go on putting more loops on here um, I don't I don't really feel like if I'm gonna climb that I really want to go up with a lot like a like like a hardware store but I know there's guys that are professionally that they got to take up all that stuff all the time but. I want to kind of keep, keep it simple. But yeah, that, that's my take on uh, Tufelberger uh, Tree Motion. Yeah, it's uh, it's just it's like their ropes, you know. It's it's good stuff. It's good stuff, you know. Like good name, you know. And there's other good names too. Petzl, they got a great name, and DMM, right? Those are all people that you can, you know, kind of like put your trust in them, right? Because I want to buy some. Uh, brand name stuff that you know it's it's, it's your it's your health and safety that uh, we have to be concerned we have to be all be concerned about so um, but yeah I give it a thumbs up a couple of thumbs up for the tree motion uh, Tuffelberger okay